Brass tax. Got a lot of bad news. Where's Agent Patterson? Yeah, she just texted. She's running late. I'm going anyway, so I'm gonna fill her in. Tasha Zapata was not on board Blake Crawford's plane when it crashed. She's alive. Uh, I'm sorry, how is that bad news? Because she killed Kira Evans. Hank Crawford's lawyer? Lawyer's a tad generous. I was a lawyer. Evans was Crawford's fixer. Though she was shot in her townhouse in Stockholm, daughter hid upstairs and saw the shooter's face. This doesn't make any sense. Actually, it does. Zapata was in Paris with Blake, who died on her plane along with three other HCI Global board members. Then, Kira Evans suddenly turns up dead, and Madeline Burke is named HCI Global's new CEO. It doesn't take a genius to deduce. So what do you think Zapata's Madeline's fixer now? I don't think that. It's a fact pattern. Fact pattern things. Tasha could still be working for the CIA. I don't think so. They disavow. Keaton and his people want to answer just like we do. I just can't believe that Tasha I know would do something like this. People change. What do you mean, change? I met Zapata through a DOJ wiretap because her gambling debts were being leveraged by the CIA. She was funneling Tom Carter classified FBI intelligence about Jane. Did you not know that? Well, I'd say that's pertinent information at this point. Is that sketch being made public yet? No, I've told the Swedish police authority to keep it internal. Zapata could be the key to unlocking whatever Madeline is planning with HCI Global. The last thing I want is for her to know that we are gunning for her. Makes you wonder what else we didn't know about her. When the team comes back, I want us to make sure. What happened? Well, we showed up at the bomber's address, and uh, all hell broke loose. We grabbed him, but not before he triggered a self-destruct protocol. Full house blew sky high. What's with all the paint? Looks like a Jackson Pollock. Well, it tackled us into the garage. The bomber had a wall full of old paint cans that buffered us from the blast. Hey, what's with the feathers here? He also had chickens. This sounds like the greatest takedown in FBI history. I'm so sorry I missed it. We found the bomber's phone in the wreckage, so pull the data off that. <laughs> That's, it's just. Oh, that part's not a joke. OK, no. great. Terrific. Thundercats, ho! Have fun. Anywho, we have to deal with our special guest. They bear only shot at this, so it is unfortunate that you look like that. What the hell is Madeline Burke doing here? She just showed up. What she want? There's only one way to find out. What the hell is that? Well, after our tete a tete this morning about the Book of Secrets, I did a bit more research, and it turns out the evidence is out there that proves it's not only real, but that it is. This research is extensive. There is no way you did all of this this morning. What is your angle? Okay, promise you won't scoff. I can already tell you. I've been pursuing the Book of Secrets for years on the dark web. It's kind of my white whale. This is me scoffing. Where are you going? Okay, just, just be five minutes. Just go get some juice. Excuse me. Okay, if I wanted the silent treatment, I would go visit my mother. Where are you going? Away from you. And to give White the update. Pronto. You know, I don't know why everyone rags on that guy. I think he's pretty cool and he's got a fantastic head of hair. Why don't you want to talk about the Book of Secrets? Because I am a scientist. Why are you buying into it? Because if it's real, it's worth a fortune. Also, Jane is dying. That's my main reason now. Exactly. Jane is dying, which is why we shouldn't go chasing a myth. Why would Roman put it in the cash if he didn't want us to find it? Well, maybe it's a red herring. Oh, I don't think so. I mean, Roman might be a little, <laughs> but uh, he never did anything without a reason. He is distracting you with snake oil. We need to be using real science to find a real cure. Or, more likely, he somehow found out about my obsession with the Book of Secrets and planted it in there knowing I would get it across the finish line. That's your more likely scenario? The Book of Secrets is out there just waiting to be found. I can feel it in my bones. Sometimes you just gotta take a leap of faith. We have explosives on six trains. Over the city as we speak. The trigger mechanism is on the roof. Just tell me what to do. Did the bomb go off? Jane? Blind Spot, Friday on NBC.